Dylan Thompson Chase Motorsports Coach and Trailer Sales in cold Paducah, Kentucky. I have a very, very, very unique trailer for sale. It's a 2021 model Featherlight. And I know when I hear Featherlight, what that means to me probably means the same thing to you, but I think of exceptionally good quality. Everything those people do is just so well thought about on, on how they do it. Uh, but anyways, 2021 Featherlight trailer. It was special ordered from Featherlight. Uh, one owner, $140,000 is what the gentleman paid for it in 2021. There's just a lot of really, really cool options and, and stuff. So first of all, it's an aluminum trailer, which most, feather, I think actually everything Featherlight builds is aluminum. The aluminum trailer uh, with the broke wall. So the sheeting is not taped together like the edges of the sheet metal is 90 and then riveted on the inside. 12,000 watt Onan, I've got it running, it's a little loud, but 12,000 watt Onan diesel generator with 740 hours, electric bulldog leveling gear on the front of it, three roof airs, that is correct, a 36 foot trailer with three roof airs, brand new Michelin tires, uh, they were replaced at the end of 2023, so towards the end of last year. Um, I think they're, I don't know, uh, 10 or 12 ply. Let's look and see here. What are these guys? Let's see here. Eight plus 10. Yeah, I think they're 10 or 12 ply from what I can read. Michelin tires replaced last year, so basically new. Three roof airs up on the top of it. It's got a fridge, it's got a microwave in it. Now, here's the really, really unique slash cool part. 105 inches wide going through the rear door. Between the fender wells is 91 inches. That means inside between the fender wells is 91. I think standard is normally 80 inches from what I've normally seen, but when the gentleman had this built, he specifically ordered it from Featherlight and said, I want to be able to pull a car, a stock car, race car, whatever, inside and be able to walk around the car to strap it down, get around it, whatever, without like being crammed against the wall. So this was built, special built. It's 105 inches wide in the rear door, 91 inches wide between the fender wells. Again, Featherlight's got an observation deck so you can see the railing. I'll kind of zoom in. You can see that railing. So the railing stands up, makes an observation deck on the top, sliding glass doors. So these doors, and if you go to the our website, chasecoach.com, you'll see all the pictures, but the doors slide like this. So, you know, you can open them up at the track like that to walk in and out of. You can open both or just one at a time, but then they also pivot. So this whole door, um, let me move it here up top. Bear with me just a second. There we go. So the whole door goes over and goes against the wall. So you can see I did the one on the passenger side of the trailer, but then the one over here on the driver's side does the same thing. Literally the whole door moves over and then, you know, anchors down in the floor. So you can go in and out of the trailer like that, and then you can pivot them to the inside and, you know, slide the two center doors. So Rubber coin floor, again, 91 inches. That is unbelievable. I've never seen one like this before. And from what I've gathered, this is kind of a one-off deal. Aluminum ladder to, uh, to get access up there to the observation deck. Cabinets, again, you know how Featherlight does their cabinets. I probably don't have to explain that, but everything is uh, very, very, very well built. Okay, so in the middle, you've got glass doors up mid trailer so there's one ac back here in the garage unit it's right here above my head you can see that then there's two up here in the front so i'll get the measurement and i'll post it on the website of what the width is because i know people are going to want to know you know what size pit box or atv or will a golf cart fit but i believe d all the above will you got aluminum track on the floor 
cabinets galore. How about that? That was good, wasn't it? All right, uh, fridge. So freezer on top, fridge on the bottom. Looks brand new. I, I don't think they use this thing, but a couple of times. And again, paid 140 grand in 21. That's probably a uh, hundred and. 50, 60 grand in 2023 or, or 24. SeaTac toolbox, double bank, little uh, workstation, Sony stereo with Bluetooth, more cabinets above. Um, oh, here's something super cool. Bathroom package. Very simple, just a toilet, a little sink, place to wash your hands, mirror, and it's got your uh, monitoring system over here for your tank levels and stuff, but bathroom package. And then uh, engine storage. So this one here, um, this cabinet door comes completely off and you got basically a huge compartment there for uh, just, you know, storing whatever. I think it was designed to store an engine. Two sets of original keys. You can see all the keys up there on the countertop. All the manuals, all the original manuals are in here. Does have one of the wine guard HD satellites on the roof, not the in motion. This is the real deal. It's like a three or four thousand dollar satellite on the top of it. Uh, you can see I've got the TV playing there. Um, speakers, there's one roof air, another speaker, second roof air, and then there's one more in the garage. LED lighting, tire rack, and again, if you don't need the tire rack, I mean, that's just bolted to the floor, easily removable. You've got your controls, uh, generator, start panel. Uh, your your lights and then uh, the controls for your roof airs up front. So I'll put all the measurements on the website at chasecoach.com to get on there and check it out. Again, very 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 unique piece. Uh, Seventy five hundred or eight thousand pound axles on it. I think they're eight thousand, but I'll have to double check. Spare matching aluminum wheel and tire. Uh, Sixteen inch wheels. This up here is just a huge storage compartment too. So up there you can see the shore power cord and the sewer hose is laying there because you know it does have a little holding tank on it for the bathroom. So just a basic walkthrough, wanted to do there. If you have any questions, uh, give me a shout. Shoot me an email at dylan at chasecoach.com. You can call or text anytime, 270-556-8461. Or just if you want to look at the full online photo album, I'm guessing probably 100 plus pictures that I shot of this trailer today. And we are, we are asking substantially less than 140000 But I was just saying, if you, know, if you were trying to figure out what it would cost you to build it new, that's what the uh, gentleman paid. So back here, I don't know if I mentioned, but it does have one of the aero component tables. So this comes off and stores on the inside. Uh, but it um, it's set up with the pucks on the outside. Got you an electrical outlet there. I'm mind blown at how wide this thing is. But uh, we've had requests before of guys who want a wide trailer, but they don't want ramp overs. Uh, they just want, you know, width between the fender wells. And this is uh, ultimately the answer. So 2001 Featherlight, 36-foot gooseneck, lots of cabinets. 12,000 watt own end diesel generator with low hours, three roof airs, fridge, freezer, microwave, bath package, TV, um, wine guard HD satellite, tire rack, sliding glass doors. I believe about everything you could ask for in this 